With the historic launch of SpaceX's Crew Dragon scheduled for this Wednesday at 4.33 p.m. Eastern, there are a few things you should look for and know before the rocket blasts off from Pad 39A in Cape Canaveral, Florida. First, this rocket has flown before. The first stage has already launched and landed successfully before. SpaceX has been pioneering the use of reusable rockets for several years now, and this stage is again expected to land on the drone ship named, of course, I still love you. Second, there are phrases and words used by the broadcasters that you may not be familiar with. The drone ship is one. The launch window is instantaneous, so the rocket has to launch at 4.33 p.m. If it needs to, the next window is Saturday, May 30th at 3.22 p.m. This is so the Crew Dragon can connect with the ISS in orbit. Third, the Crew Dragon is the capsule that astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley will ride to the ISS. Once they are in orbit, they will do maneuvers and test the capsule's performance in microgravity. Both astronauts have flown on two missions on the space shuttle before. They are some of NASA's most experienced astronauts. After liftoff, as the rocket is gaining altitude, you will hear a term called Max-Q. Max-Q is when the spacecraft is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. Think of it like this. The vehicle is moving so fast through the air that the dense air ahead of it is putting stress on the rocket. So at this point, they will throttle down to slow down their acceleration until the air is thin enough to speed back up. There are two stages for this rocket. Stage separation confirmed. The first stage is to get it off the ground and get it above much of the atmosphere. Stage two is smaller and lighter to propel the crew to match the International Space Station's orbit. It takes under 10 minutes from launch to landing of stage one. So stick around and watch the broadcast to make sure you don't miss that. This mission's duration is 30 to 119 days. And if during launch they need to abort, the rocket will be flying over the Atlantic Ocean for a water landing. Finally, hopefully the weather will cooperate for Wednesday's launch. And make sure you tune into Wavy TV 10 for our broadcast of the launch. And also if you wanna watch the launch to its complete entirety, then tune to NASA TV. I'll have links to that on our website.